Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we were doing a little bit of an overhaul, although I say a little bit of an overhaul, it was quite a large overhaul, specifically over here and over here on the top, uh, well the front, top and bottom. So we moved the top chapel and the bottom classroom to the centre part of the prison. Now this is not ideal because this is one of those customer slash um, visitor facing set of buildings that I really don't want all the way back there but I think it's just I think it's the better course of action to move them over there not necessarily to increase the size of the chapel or the classroom certainly we didn't need a bigger classroom but certainly to increase the size of the visitation I think was worth it so overall pretty happy with that we also you know changed this building as well and made it correct hopefully there may be some alterations need to be made but for now that is uh, pretty much sorted anyway in this episode we want to build a couple of different rooms and i discussed the rooms in the previous episode which was about the well it was actually about the mail room and also the library but i'm just going to go through and see what other rooms we could possibly have so obviously we've got cells yes holding cells we don't need any more solitary we technically do need some more solitary because when it kicks off there tends to be a lot of people going to solitary dormitories we're not having canteens we have two of them kitchens we only have the one showers we've got four yards we have the four storage we have there so placing storage in here is not going to happen deliveries one garbage one execution we have got planned out in here but not yet built workshops we have two of them security we have technically four of them them. yeah officers we have several infirmaries one morgues one common rooms it says we've got five but is that true it says five common rooms i i'm not calling it a liar but i'm seeing one two three common rooms so i don't know what's going on there where's the other can't see it anyway matters not laundry one visitation two of but the larger Cleaning cupboard, yep, kennel, armory, staff room, library we don't have, forestry we don't have, classroom we've got one of, export and chapel one of, parole we have two of at the front, quite large, reception one we only need one, mill room we don't have any shop, well we currently have one but I might change that up and I'll discuss that in a moment, padded cells no we're not having any of that, not having psychologists, gyms one for the time being but again we're going to discuss that, no vegetable allotments or fruit stuff, we're not doing the green farming things, restaurant and meeting room and bakeries all one so overall yeah pretty good so it's only really the mail room and the it's a mail room in the library that we need but i also realize that there is a a lot of people working in here, or nine, and they're all maxed out. And there's a lot of people with spending money. So if you go over to each of the prisoners, you can see that because they're, a lot of them are working, in fact, most of them are working, they have a decent amount of money. Well, that guy has uh, four, 480, so not much. There's 10, 308 generic units of currency on him, uh, 177, 23, 135, eight, uh, 84, 6... And, oh, there's, uh, there's Total who's been released. So, they've all got some money, so they all want to purchase things, uh, luxuries. So, they want to purchase it, obviously, from the shop. So, I think it would be decent increasing the size of the shop. That would allow us to then put another gymnasium here to fulfill some more exercise needs if they want to do that. And also, it means we'll have these areas filled up so let's do that i'm going to split up to about an even size that's probably 12 by 11 i'm guessing 12 by 13 we're gonna have the shop a little bit bigger the shop's gonna be the mm, no we'll have it the other way around so we'll have this and this built like so you might be asking why don't i go straight down there that's because that would be far too big for a library and a mail room but the shop is is reasonable um, actually, you know what? No, you might be right because we're going to have two shops. So two shops either side. That should be about right. So we'll do that. And well, well that's said and done. Let's go ahead and build it. So over to our walls and doors doors and to the standard door, which I will place in. Well, it matters not. It's going to go pretty much next to there. And then for the library and the mail room, that will be about right over to our walls we will put in the nice walls there and that should all be connected up and then i'm going to i think go to my rooms and get rid of that from the shop and i'm just going to dismantle all of these in here now it'll take a little bit of time for me to do this but it's no big dramas 
just going to switch between every single one. I'm not dismantling everything in the room bec uh, with the dismantle tool because, quite frankly, I don't want to have to relight it. And obviously, there's not as much stuff in here for me to worry about, so it should be fairly easy to do. We do need to get rid of the shop front, which is actually... I know it's the wrong way around. There you are. And I think that's actually a bug. I think that's a noted bug that the shop front does randomly spin. But I could be wrong about that. We've also got loads of turf, and I do need to... I say get rid of it. I was going to sell it, but there's no point, because I can, I can just place it around here. Let's do that. Let me go to flooring, and then to grass, and let me just place some grass there, grass there, and then I'm just going to place the grass all the way around like so, and that should probably use the grass that we have, and if it needs to buy some more, then I don't particularly mind. And, yeah, that's a, that's definitely... That's definitely a, a tunnel. We found a tunnel there as well. Because of our policy... Oh! Right. <laughs> I was going to say, because of our policy, we tend to find tunnels quite often because as soon as someone does anything against the rules, we search them and we search their cell. So even a little bit of a fighter, you know, any any fighting, any misconduct of any kind, any anything that they might get searched for, even though we've just searched them, we search them again and then we search their cell. And it's a good job that we took note of that when we did because as you can clearly see, these two prisoners have been working together and they've got, well, They've got one away from the perimeter wall. Now, admittedly, the perimeter wall is, I believe, the hardest thing to dig through. I think there's a foundation on either side plus the wall itself. So it's very, very difficult to dig through. So, yeah. Uh, I've just realised as well that we're placing grass right up to the perimeter wall. I don't think that's a big problem, but there you are. This one says there's one there. If it is, I don't particularly care, to be honest. Because we're going to have to go all the way around, so <laughs> I'm sure we'll search them. In due course. So we're going to place that down and prioritise the building of that. Um, for the removal, should I say, of of the tunnel. There you go. So remove tunnels. We've already done. And there's more tunnels. Wow. They were probably going to connect up at some point. They're working together against us. How rude. How rude. Obviously, the workers have got a lot on. Many placing all of this grass and turf here. That's a bit to do. We also haven't really done much in here. Doesn't We don't really need to do much in the staff room. I know there was a few people... Oh, yeah, they're definitely working together. I know there was a few people saying about we haven't got, like, staff toilets and other things. Well, we don't need to because we don't have staff needs on. Staff need rest in the staff room, but without staff needs, they don't need specific needs. They just need a place to rest. Um, I'm going to turn off. Guard tears certification. Actually, three is still in the queue. And with nearly half a million, I don't, uh, don't really see a huge desire or a huge need to change things. So looks like these are now in. I'm gonna go to flooring, wooden floor. It's the mill room and the library. Make sure we've got the right flooring in which we have. This is our gymnasium. I'm going to quick build clone and rotate it and then flip it. It's going to auto-light and put more lights in. Okay. So, I should have removed the lights. Dismantle object. There we are. Get them sorted. We haven't looked at our grading for a while. Punishment is 7. So it hasn't touched, since, uh, it hasn't moved since the last time I looked at it. Reform is 8, I think that's the same. Security's gone down to 2 from 3. 
We have had some more fighting and some higher heat, so I understand that. Health is at the same at minus one. Reoffending rate has gone to 7%, which is excellent. We have paroled 120 people and only 5% have reoffended, so that is pretty good. If we check out our reform and then release prisoners, we can see that... Oh, look at all those reforms there. So, working in... Oh, there's a factory. We're starting getting some factory ones now. So, factory, factory, restaurant, shopping mall, restaurant, factory, cleaning agency, etc. There's some more tunnels. I reckon there's a tunnel, a big tunnel around here. I think we could very reasonably expect a tunnel to be around here. Go on then. I'm going to dismantle that toilet and we'll just... Oh yeah, it, it's... <laughs> it's it's going to be connected and go all the way around here. Yeah, there you go. We expected as much. Let me just remove tunnels. What the... Ha the other noises of confusion are also available. Uh, what is going on there? So... You can see, this This is the one we expected to find. It went down and across. We expected that. This is where we're getting all the signals from the dogs. This one, I can totally understand. It's just connected up to this and, you know, worked its way down. They could have dug this way and across, but the way of digging there is one, two, three... Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So digging that way more efficient. This one I can understand. They've went... What I think's happened is that they've went... Started there because that's where the start is for the tunnel. They went up there to start digging out across there because it's in the middle, it's more efficient to go right across rather than down and around. And then probably figured out that this tunnel's there, so they then went across and then down and then across. But that wouldn't make much sense because surely you just go back over and just dig that way. Is it the same? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be one, two, Three, four, five. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that previously. Very strange, very strange. Anyway, quick build. Over to quick build and the cloning thing. And we can go click. And there we go. And we also need to, I think... Yes, we do need to actually connect it up. So I'll sell utility. Like that. And then I'll just run that utility down to there. And then put all those in. There's another tunnel there, potentially. It's probably legit. It is most likely legitimate. Camptree apprenticeship. We're on 70%. We've produced one more superior bed. And here's loads of bricks. Why all the bricks? To fill in the floor? It's possible. And that is shouting at us. The shop goods are full and they can't unload this. That's what's going on there. Okay, let's build a shop. One, two. Objects. Zooming right in. Shop front. It's definitely facing the right side. That's definitely facing the right side. Shop shelving. I will put... How do I want to build this? It's a shame. Um... One, two, three. So it's not going to fit that way. One, two, yeah. It's just the wrong size in every every dimension. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's at the back. Um, there, that one. One, two, three. Two, three. Then we need tables. I'm going to place one there and one there. And you can also place tables small now, <laughs> which will help out. Right, those are all in. There's another tunnel. Let's get that sorted. But now that we've ordered this, that I put this shop stuff, all of this will be shifted. So there you go. 
Another tunnel again. Wow. They really don't let up, do they? They really don't. So the shop stuff's been ordered anyway. They're going to bring it over. Obviously ordered the removal of this. I'll have to put the toilet back in. Maybe we shouldn't. As punishment. Well, that would be extremely cruel. I'm going to cancel the wooden flooring there, so I'll redo it. So at least the trucks are coming along. With all the gym mats and treadmills and all sorts of things. And flour. <laughs> Gonna do a shakedown. 884 places. And once these shops are up and running, obviously we'll assign loads of people to them. I don't know how many people have jobs in the facility. There's another tunnel. Oh, look at that! LaCroix. Benny Slimo LaCroix. Prison number 1882989. Sentenced for 31 years for arson. Okay. I mean, I don't know how. I was going to say I don't know how arson works. I'm un I understand what the conviction of arson means. But is the conviction based on what burns down? What the value is? The potential loss of life? The actual loss of life? I don't know how it's, how it's sentenced. Hmm. I think it's time we did a pass on... Placing concrete tiles in here. Because there's a couple of them that we haven't done. So the shop. <laughs> so we finished the search and levels of contraband are out of control again. Because of course they are. Okay. We're going to go over to our logistics prison labour. And we can only have six jobs now. And that had nine previously. So we've actually got fewer jobs than... Well, it was nine jobs. We've we've actually went increased it to twelve, but you know, at least it's not actually as many jobs as I thought it would have. No matter. Anyway, let's go ahead and place in a mill room and also a library. Now, the library I think is a bit special because traditionally you needed a a certain amount of intelligence or education. I think is sorry the better uh, and the more accurate way of saying it. Uh, yeah, you need you needed that. In the library shelf and sorting desk. Sorting desk I'm just going to place across there. Mail room is the same thing. And then you need tables. But yeah, you need you needed a certain level of education in order to work in the library. Whereas, I don't think that is the case anymore. No, I don't like that. There we are. And then here we need tables, I think. Mm. I'm trying to find the best, best way of placing this. That should suffice. So there's a mail room, and there's the library all ordered. So I don't know what you need to work in those. I will check once the stuff's been placed. And they're still waiting for the shop front to be placed. And there you go, that's now being placed. So, everyone should now have a job in there. Yep. And that doesn't say about anything to be working in the library. Yeah, max jobs is just 10. Right? Okay. I'm going to place more people in the laundry as well. So, curiously, yeah. You don't know, you don't have to have a certain standard of education not to work in there anymore. Danger level is once again flying up. It is to do with 
once again the needs haven't been fulfilled, which is totally understandable. Let's just go to informants here and see if it's possible for us to, yeah, Sean Shipley. There's an OD. I think what we'll do is activate a confidential informant. Oh. Hmm. Martin, Shadow Martin, Reardon. Prison number 314-0490. Martin was so good for YouTube burning over... How much? Is that... Quite half a billion a year. Hacked the bank and earned over a billion a year. Sentenced here for arson and criminal damage. A legendary prisoner. And their fame to... Their claim to fame is that they are legendary and strong. Uh, it's like celeb It's like being a celebrity. What are you famous for? I'm famous for being famous. So you've not cured any diseases. Nope. You have not figured out a different way to do a high jump that nobody else has. Nope. Uh, invented something? No. Done something heroic or courageous? No. What did you do? Uh, appeared on a quiz show. <laughs> and, um, and, and threw up. <laughs> Here, have some money. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Talk, well, going back from talking nonsense. Uh, yes, mail room and the, and the library is now in. So we have those how those working, which is good. Uh, I'm going to go over to our intelligence and then to informants, and we're going to activate Sean here just to see if there's any traits that we should be worried about. It's quite difficult now because of the amount of prisons that we have and the saturation when we zoomed out to see exactly, uh, you know, what traits people have and if there's any... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a snitch. Now, I, I didn't know whether or not that was uh, someone I didn't know about or not. It could have been. It, it is possible. I will just uh, deactivate those. So yeah, it might have been that I could have seen that and I just didn't notice it from this view or whatever. Or it was an unknown trait. Either way, 100% coverage. Job is done. There's a bit more fighting again. Volatile. Yeah. Mark Stubbs. They've kicked off because of reasons. Hmm. Alright. So this is now in and working. Happy with that. And obviously we now have yard time as well. I don't know what else we can put in the yard. I don't think there's anything really necessary. I also don't know if there's anything else we can put in the canteen. We have our phone booze, but don't know what else. What I do know is I want to get this building done. This is our death row and two other buildings of some description. Most likely it will become another common room. Two common rooms probably. But... I need to I need to build it. Foundations more. What sort of wall do we want this as? Now this prisoner set so we've got this as yellow and this is blue. But I can't tell what death row was. Hmm. don't know. Huh. Intake of Raven, you can change that. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what colour I made the inmates for the uniforms on this one. I can't remember. So, I think we got this, like, wall Utani there for that. I think we will have tiled wall. The whole thing tiled wall. Because the outside of this is going to be tiled wall. So we'll do that. And then it is walls and doors. Doors. We've got grey, orange, red, yellow, and then the white jail door. Yeah. Of the white double jail door there. Alright. And there's our foundations in for what will be Probably next episode, Death Row. I think that is worth it. Obviously it's going to take quite a while to build that. 
I'm just checking the work slash free time to see. Oh yeah, people are working in the mill room. So the way this works, that if you're aware, is you get a big sack of mail that comes in. So it's unsorted mail that's brought in, and then the prisoners who are working will sort that mail into these mail satchels, which at the moment some of them contain zero letters, some of them contain oh there's six letters five letters yeah so they're sorting this and sorting the mail and putting it into satchels those satchels will then be picked up and then brought to the prisoners and dropped off on the beds similar to how the uniforms are so they'll just be popped on the beds and then that i believe caters for the family need there you go you can see they're picking up this mail and popping it in the bags there we'll just have a quick check at the rooms and see what it says about that mail room it doesn't actually tell us what it does but i'm fairly confident that's what it does but either way regardless of any other factors, having it is almost certainly better than not having it. The library, I think, is a similar process. You get these unsorted books, so big boxes of books. They get brought into the prison, they get opened up, the boxes, I should say, and then all of the books get sorted on the sorting table. You see they're going in stacks here, and then those are placed on, on, the, uh, on the shelving. And then that means that anyone who wants a book can come into there and take a take a book out. There you go, we're getting some on the shelves. You don't get like a library cart that gets pushed around and then get the book dropped off. I've I would really like to see something like that. That would be good. And we have a a burst pipe. Been a while since we've seen a burst pipe. And it just goes across there. So we'll prioritize that. Luckily the metal detectors don't electrocute anyone when they get wet, which I think was what happened back in the day. Could be wrong about that, but there we go. That's now being placed and we're job done there. Should also check actually for our intelligence. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, yeah, dangers. What dangers? Ah, scissors and fountain pen can be stolen from here. So, metal detector. Gonna go there. We don't necessarily need it, but I think it would aid in security. I don't really like the idea of scissors being freely... Uh, available to be taken. So, yeah. I'm um, actually going to place a wall. There, and a wall there. Then the other side. Just place a bin. No, hang on. That's wrong. There we go. And if I want a metal detector there on the mail room, I can, but there's no contraband as far as I can, as far as I can tell. Intelligence dangers? No. None. You <laughs> see the amount of contraband that can be stolen from the workshop. I think it's the most. That looked like a lot, but it's just because we've got loads of uh, <laughs> loads of the officers in a row. Okay, so not too bad at all. We have managed to get all that in. Pretty happy with the progress there. And we've started construction on death row. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Once again, a little bit shorter episode than normal because it's so hot in here that uh, it's <laughs> very unpleasant. So, yes, apologies, but needs must. I think we'll call it there for now. Next episode, we will at least build Death Row. It'll most likely just be Death Row. So, the Death Row cells, security, execution, etc. And then see if we can get any inmates. Either way, we're calling it there. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Any comments, suggestions for changes, anything you want to see altered, etc. By all means, let me know in the comments and we will go from there. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.